Hi, this is the seventh Saturday in lockdown, so I hope you're all surviving and are well. Welcome to another day of devotions on our Spring into Psalms. And today I just want to bring one of my favourite Psalms, Psalm of David, Psalm 139. Now this Psalm actually can be broken into four key thoughts that David had when he came before God. And the first one is verses one to six and David says, you know me. The second is verses seven to 12 and he says, you are with me. The third part is verses 13 to 18 and David says, you created me. And the fourth part is verses 19 to 24 and David is saying, God, your cause is my cause. Now, I'm gonna be reading from the NIV today. But before we do that, before we, de we, we delve into these verses, I wonder, could we just take a moment and just put ourselves into David's shoes um, or into his sandals, which would have been the case in his day. And as David speaks out to God through this uh, Psalm, you know, maybe we could just think of ourselves, imagine ourselves saying these same words to God today. So let's just pray before we do that. Father, we bring um, our time before you and we ask as we read and speak out this psalm together. May we have a fresh understanding of the truth that is written within. Thank you that your word always releases your power, authority and anointing over us. So Father, we thank you for that in Jesus' name. Okay, let's just uh, take the first part and read the first six verses together. And it says, You have searched me, and you know me, and you know when I sit and when I rise. You perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my going out and my lying down. You are familiar with all my ways. Before a word is on my tongue, Lord, you know it completely. You hem me in behind and before. You've laid your hand upon me. Such... Knowledge is too wonderful for me, too lofty for me to attain. You know, you start to mean you know me. That can be a scary thought. You know, God knows everything that we do and everything that we say. Another version, David says, you know, God, you read my heart like an open book. There's nothing about my life that is hidden from you. You know, in the Old Testament, the Israelites had to constantly take sacrifices for their sins. Um, but they had to sacrifice for their unintentional sins because God knew their imperfections, just like God knows our imperfections. And I love that fact that God truly knows our hearts. That, And I love this quote. It says, when we are confident in the love and care of God our Father, his constant knowledge of us is a comfort rather than a curse. You know, God knows our motives and our real intentions. You know, others may misjudge us at times or blame us of, uh, in the wrong um, when it was never our intention to cause hurt or pain. But thank goodness God knows uh, the true measure uh, of what lies within our hearts. And I really love that. It goes on to say, before a word is on my tongue, you know it completely, O oh Lord. Joyce Myers um, has a saying and she says, no, not every thought that comes into your mind has to actually come out of your mouth. Um, and I, I kind of love that. And So it doesn't matter that the words don't come out. God knows our very thoughts. Um, and some of us maybe need to get better at uh, changing our thoughts very quickly. Verse five goes on to say, you hem me in behind and before and you've laid your hand upon me i love the passion translation of this verse and it says you've gone into my future to prepare the way and in kindness you follow behind me you spur me from the harm of my past um, and with your hand of love upon my life you impart a blessing to me psalm 7 verse 10 the same translation says this God, your wrap around presence is my protection and my defence. You bring victory to all who reach out to you. What a beautiful picture of God, of that gives us of God's presence being wrapped around us. You know, there's a beautiful song that we're listening to at the minute uh, called Blessings and our very own Suzanne is singing on that uh, in the UK version. 
And some of the words in that song are actually taken from Psalm 139 and it says this, May his presence go before you and behind you and beside you, all around you and within you. He is with you. He is with you in the morning, in the evening, in your coming and your going. You know, do we realise just how close his presence is? And all we have to do is just whisper his name. Now, the second part of this uh, psalm, which is verses 7 to 12, and David is saying, you are with me. And it reads this, where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up the heavens, you're there. If I make my bed in the depths, you're there. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will guide me. Your right hand will hold me fast. And then it goes on to say, if I say, surely the darkness will hide me and the light become night around me. Even the darkness will not be dark to you and the night will shine like the day, for the darkness is as light to you. You know, there's nowhere we, where we can go and hide. Uh, so there, there's no point um, in going and hiding under those covers uh, when we mess up, because God can see us know where we are. Um, you know, even in the darkness, you know, have you ever been in a dark uh, season in your life? Or maybe you're actually in... Uh, a dark season right now, uh, just keep whispering his name. I love this. It says, the darkness quick, quickly ceases to be darkness because of the radiant light of God. His very presence casts out all darkness. His very presence casts out all darkness. Remember, he is all around us, his presence is wrapped around us and all we have to do is call out his name, just whisper his name. The third part of the psalm talks about how we're being created and in verses 13 and it reads, and this would be probably um, the most quoted part of this psalm. And it says, you've created my innermost being, you knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that fully well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place. When I was woven together in the depths of the earth, your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before they came to be. How precious to me are your thoughts, God. How vast is the sum of them. Were I to count them, they would outnumber the grains of sand. When I awake, I am still with you. You know, his presence has been at every phase of our development. God's watchful presence over our lives. We are formed by the hands of God and he breathes his life into us. David declares that there's no part of his life, there's no part of our lives that has escaped the watchful gaze of Yahweh. How amazing is that? You know, God has created each of us for a, a purpose and he has a plan. You know, his main purpose is that we would worship and glorify his name. But his plan is that the giftings that he's given each one of us, that we would use them for his glory. Now, the fourth and the last part of this psalm, Davis talks about that uh, God's cause is his cause and it changes and it says this from verse 19. If only God, you would slay the wicked. Away from me, you who are bloodthirsty. They speak of you with evil intent. Your adversaries misuse your name. Do I not hate those who hate you, Lord, and abhor those who are in rebellion against you? I have nothing but hatred for them and count them my enemies. You know, David is saying, you know, he's standing up, he's on God's side, and he's he's standing up for, to anyone who speaks out against God. You know, he's giving God his allegiance, you know, and we maybe need to ask ourselves, do we do that? You know, do, do we stand up, do we speak out? Do we declare our love and, and, and our allegiance to God? You know, are we loyal? to the one who is so loyal to us. 
And maybe that we just need to, to remind ourselves and ask ourselves, you know, do I, do I speak out? Do I stand up? Um, am I afraid to speak out the name of Jesus? Um, yeah, let's, let's learn to, to stand up for a more. Now the last, there's two verses at the end of this psalm and, and it changes and I love it because it's as if David kind of pauses and goes, oh, oh, hold on a minute. And he comes with such humility and he says, oh, search me, God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me and lead me into the way everlasting. You know, it's as if he's saying, Am I doing okay? Uh, is my heart right? Um, you know, and maybe this is a question that we need to ask ourselves daily. You know, Lord, am I doing okay? Is my heart always right? Is my modus right? You know, is is my intentions um, always right? You know, help me, Father, to um, do not want to cause hurt or pain to others, but just to humbly walk before you. Um, yeah, so let's just... Uh, uh, try and do that uh, in our daily walk with God, to walk humbly before him, keeping our motives pure, keeping our heart right before him. Um, so yeah, let's let's just come to him and just let's close our time in prayer th this morning. Father, thank you that you truly know us and your presence surrounds us always. You knew what you were doing when you created each one of us. May we always love and serve you in a way that brings glory and honour to your name. Amen. Okay, guys, bless. Sweet.